Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from Lit Joy Crate. So if you want to know what's inside this gorgeous box, please stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'll be unboxing this gorgeous box right here, Lit Joy Crate. This is a monthly book, book box subscription that I purchase every month and it renews every month. So I believe this is the November box and the theme is Star Cross Lovers. Um, but we will definitely know for sure what the theme is once I open it. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I open the box, this is what is shown. So it has that right here. And then this is what it looks like when I open it. So first thing here all right so this is like a little spoiler card and here is this right here this gives us pretty much information about who had created these gorgeous items in the box and what have you so this one says as, as of course what the theme is it's star cross lovers and this is also a little print on the back which is pretty cool so like I said, this gives you pretty much all the spoilery things of what's inside the box. And what I'm going to do is reference each item and tell you and share with you who created them. The first thing I see here, it looks like a puzzle. Ooh, and it says a 250 piece puzzle. So that's really cool. So this is the puzzle. Oh, look at that star cross lovers, right? Looks like lovers right here. Okay, so it says the Night Circus Puzzle. It says we could not express more or our complete adoration for Rosie at Rosie Thorns 88. And we know you're going to feel exactly the same way about this puzzle in our collection. And yay, it's featuring the Night Circus, just like Tavik and Yinya, Yinya from Soul, Soul Swift. Marco and Marco and Celia of the Night Circus find themselves fighting each other, made rivals by their mentors and with the odds stacked against them. Rosie Thorns brings the magic and atmosphere of the Night Circus to life in the stunning black, black, white, and red depiction of Marco and Celia. So this is um, created by Rosie Th Thorns, the Thorns 88. So I have not read the Night Circus. Um, a lot of people loved it. A lot of people didn't love it. It's a mixed review. Um, but maybe one day I will pick it up. I just don't know when that is. So here is the puzzle, the Night Circus. The next thing I see is a little box. So let's go ahead and open this and see what is in here. Ooh, okay. So, so it looks like this is says uh, shadow shadow hunters read uh, read by witch light. Okay, so it's like a witch light. Huh. Cool. So let me see. Does it have? Oh, so it doesn't have batteries. You're gonna have to definitely have to get some batteries for it. But it's a witch light. So let's see who had created this item. So oh, it's a book light. Okay, interesting. I love it. I love it. So it says, "Shadow Hunters read by Witch Light." Because light and illumination were such big themes and events in Soul Soul Swift. We knew we had to add some light to this crate. And since basically every Shadow Hunter couple is star-crossed in some way, but seriously, a witch light was in order. Marked with clarity, knowledge, buoyance, and enlightened ruins, use this reading light to brighten your book pages. So, okay, so I'm guessing, like, I wish I could light it up, but I don't have um, pretty much the battery for it. I'll have to get some batteries. But I guess you, like, put it under your page, and it just, it lights it up. So that's pretty cool. I do like this a lot. Hmm. But here's a little close up, closer look of it. So, of course, there is where you have to put the battery. But, yeah, it's a little witch light, a light for your book. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to use this. This is interesting. Next thing here is, like, cloth. It says, wraith your hands. It says, phantom wren. And this says, wash your hands, dirty hands. Okay. All right. So let me open it out of this. Let's put it out of the plastic so you get a better look without that much of a glare. So this is what this looks like right here. It's like a little washcloth towel that you could pretty much um, dry off anything in your kitchen, pretty much. Like your, your plates, bowls anything like that. So we have this one and then we have another one that I'll open up as well. And this one says, wash your hands, dirty hands. So we have this one as well. So this one says, uh, wraith your hands. And this one says, wash your hands. So we got two different ones right here. Ooh, and they're little towels. So with this towel set, 
It says, Pair Thieves Dish Towel Set. Sometimes love is less about romance and more about loyalty and having each other's back. We see this uh, sentiment portrayed through various relationships in Soul Swift, and it reminded us of the, of the relationship Kaz, Dirty Hands of Brecker, and Inej, the Wraith, Gaffa Share. Brutal yet solid. We added a little levity to these Six of Crows characters with these kitchen towels and, our, and a reminder to wash your dirty hands. It says machine wash warm or cold, tumble dry on low, do not iron directly on design, and no chlorine bleach. So there is those. So those are pretty cool. I definitely can't wait to use these and put them to good use because I do a lot of dishes because my kids like to make a mess in the kitchen, particularly. So we got these two towel sets. And then we have the enamel pen. It says a curse so dark and lonely. And then on the enamel pen itself, it says the curse torments us all. So let me take this out of the plastic. I like this enamel pen. I do like the color. It's like a dragon. So here is the enamel pen. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, look at that. I love that so much. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And so with the enamel pen, let's see what this one says about it. So it says the, um, the curse torments us all enamel pen. It says sometimes love is in the last place you'd expect to find it. Between the unlikely couples and a curse that hangs over the land, we couldn't help but notice these similarities between Soul Swift and another one of our favorite YA reads, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, featuring Emberfall and the Beast Curse to destroy it. This beautiful enamel pen echoes the popular quote, the curse tor torments us all from A Curse So Dark and Lonely. This beautiful hard enamel pen was designed by Amanda Nelson Design Co. So, all right. So, that's pretty cool. I haven't read A Decur So Dark and Lonely, but it sounds pretty neat, pretty cool. So, we got that. And I like it has the little castle in the back, the moon and everything. And it has little roses too. So, that's pretty neat. Uh. Oh, we got some more stuff. All right. So, before I even reveal the book, let's see what else is in here. So, ooh, so it looks like this is a little ornament here. So let me open this. And the ornament says, what light, what light through yonder window breaks? <laughs> Lit Joy Crate 2020. So this is uh, Romeo and Juliet, of course. So look at that. And I'll put the black against it so you can see it a little bit better. But just look at that. Oh, this is a cute little, a cute little ornament for your Christmas tree. So who did this beautiful thing right here? All right, so it says for Romeo and Juliet wood ornament. Romeo and Juliet, the original star-crossed couple, shared a love that was sweet and pure. We found this same type of pure devotion in the pages of Soul Swift and celebrate this classic couple on this year's Lit Joy holiday ornament. Depicting the iconic balcony scene, this engraved cutout ornament can be hung anywhere you want to add a touch of romance. So, oh, this is so cute. But we have this gorgeous one right here. So look at that. So the next item in this box, it's a photo strip. It's from the Ember and the Ashes. So here's a little photo strip. So this is Helene, you have Elias, and you have Laya, which I do believe the, season, the series is gonna be ending because the last book, A Storm, um, A Storm Beyond, or is it A Sky Beyond the Storm is going to be coming out, I think, December the 3rd, the last and final book of the series. So, oh my God, this is perfect timing. So we have this photo strip from Ember in the Ashes. And it says, the next photo strip in our collection highlights the epic and incredible book and Ember in the Ashes. We couldn't wait, we couldn't wait to portray Laya, Elias, and Helene as the strong and powerful protagonists they are. And at Sarah Cardison has done a beautiful job. How would each of the characters see themselves if they stepped in a photo booth? Check it out. So this is what we think they would look like in a photo booth. So that's pretty cool. And it says right here, you will spark and burn, ravage and destroy. You cannot change it. You cannot stop it. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. I do like this little photo strip. So we got that. We have a little, I think it's a little sticker right here. And it says, okay, okay. So we got that. So that's pretty neat. I do like this little sticker. So we got a sticker, which I'm no, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I'll put it somewhere. Maybe I'll put it on my shelves. So we have this. So for the sticker, it says the fault in our stars sticker. Okay. So it says, okay, okay. This iconic exchange between Hazel and Gus from the fault in our stars became their, their code and promise that they'd always be there for each other. The humor, love, and devotion to each other's well-being gave us the same feeling we felt while reading Soul Swift. 
use this three and three inch by three inch sticker anywhere you want to add some bookish color so that's where that is from i also see this right here it says uh, lit joy destinations it says destination literary locations stamp of approval and it says 2021 and all that literary boarding pass so it says 2021 uh, collections brio and brandish rosy thorns classic cameo spell coins teacups magical keys and photo booth strips um, so it pretty much says gate number one, flight booked date monthly. And it gives you young adult, magical, and classics seat VIP. So I think this is something new that Lit Choi is going to be doing for 2021 with their um, YA subscriptions and what have you. So we got that. And then let's go ahead and get to the book, which is in this gorgeous packaging right here. So let's see what's in here. And I believe they do exclusives and, and it's also signed and has a, a reversible dust jacket. So let's see. Okay, so it's Soul Swift by Megan Bannon, author of The Bird and Blade. It says, within the stone lies a deadly secret. So here's that. I do like the cover. This bird is beautiful. Like, look at that. And here's that. And then on the back it says, when she becomes a human vessel of an immortal spirit, a girl once silenced by faith will have the final say on humanity's fate. Um, is the soul inside her a goddess who will save the world or a demon who will destroy it? So we have this. So this looks pretty cool. And then here is the note from the author, which I will read to you all. So let's see. So it says, let me read the synopsis. So it says, uh, Gelia is a vessel, a girl who channels the word of the one true God through song. Cloistered with the other vessels of her faith, she believes, as all Avenists do, that a saint imprisoned Alath, the great demon centuries ago, saving humanity from earthly temptation. When Gelia stumbles into a deadly cover-up by the Avenist military, she reluctantly teams up with Tavik, an enemy soldier to survive. Tavik believes that Alath is actually a mother goddess who must be set free, but while he succeeds in opening opening her prison her he inadvertently turns Gelia into Ella's unwilling human vessel now the church that raised Gelia considers her a threat in a race against the clock she and Tavik must find a way to exercise exercise a last presence from her body but with this release stops but will this will this release stop the countdown to the end of the world or will it be the cause of the earth's destruction and as Tavik and Gelia grow closer another question lingers between them what will become of Gelia so this sounds really intense and really deep. Um, but let me look at their reverse duck jacket as well. So I think this is gonna, ooh, this is pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. I don't know, I do like the little bird and everything, but I do like the little dust jacket as well. So there is that. Ooh. And then also the book has gold foiling and it's blue. So let me go ahead and share with you what the author has shared with us in her note but I do love the, the cover I do love the bird it's beautiful so it says dear Lord lit joy readers I don't know I don't know about you but I have a, I have spent most of my secret or most of my what my scant reading time in 2020 devouring romance novels rom-coms and women's fiction love stories and happy endings are getting me through our strange uh <laughs> dystopic, dystopic days Bonus points to any book that makes me laugh right now. With this in mind, I've been thinking about what what someone might take away from Soul Swift other than heartbreak. And here is my hope. As you read the book, I've lo I'd love for you to appreciate the moments when Gelia and Tavik make jokes, tease each other, laugh, dance, and find unexpected unexpected pockets of joy, even when the world seems to be falling apart around them. And I hope that it inspires you to find your own improbable happiness during this challenging time. You might also consider having a good rom-com on hand to read after you finish Soul Swift. Wishing you many books to solve your soul, Megan. So that sounds really cool. And look at the piece of art, like look at that art print, it's gorgeous. And she is right, these are some terrible and troubling times with COVID and everything in the epidemic. So I think this leads to be something I definitely will read. So we have that, which I'm so excited for. Um, and then let's see if this gives us like a sneak peek of what's to come. So it says, all right, it says the drama club is the December theme. 
So that's what it shows here, Drama Club. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's what's gonna be in store for Drama Club. It sounds very interesting and I'm all for it. So I'm definitely excited about it. Um, but let me see, so for the person that created the dust jacket that I showed you, it says, um, it was by Sophia uh, Volovic. It says, my name is Sophia. I'm currently a freelance illustrator and animation student from Israel, and I mostly create illustration of my original characters. My favorite fandom of all time is actually a video, video game called Dragon Age. I love story-driven games, and this one has rich lore, and the characters are really interesting and feel very real. It's my favorite fandom because it's very wholesome, and since it's a RPG game, everyone has their own story. My favorite book series is The Witcher by Andrzej Zabowski. I think another thing I'm obsessed with is horror films, books, painting. I just love creepy things so much, even though I think I will never create something creepy. And I can't think of anything that I hate except the fact that I can't concentrate on things for too long without being distracted and also spicy food. If I could live anywhere, it would probably be Switzerland. It is so beautiful, it doesn't even look real, and I hope that one day I could at least travel there. I'm more inspired by films and art than books and other vis and, and other visual things as I find it hard to concentrate on books, which is another reason I listen to listen to audiobooks, though I do prefer owning physical copies of the books. So yeah, so I'm just really excited. So it says, read me first. Congratulations, you have the uh, Star Cross Lover's Crate. So it gives you everything what's included and all that and spoilers, which I pretty much shared with you all. And it has the November photo challenge and everything you can do within um, this month and so on. Um, but yes, that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed my little video with Lit Joy. This was very great. I do love the box. I love everything. I think I love, I really love the enamel pin that was included in this box. Um, but anywho, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. Um, but thank you so much for watching you guys and stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.